Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for the ongoing support. I so appreciate you all and send you love and positive energy every single day. And if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, don't ever try to make it fit. Just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are general readings and Mondays are a different style every week. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What messages do you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? Advice for Libra, please. Okay. So we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Oracle cards. You've got temperance. The, God, the Queen of Pentacles, I swear, is in every single reading, but the cards around her are different. The Fool, the Page of Pentacles, the Page has been showing up a little bit too. The Four of Cups, the Queen, my God, you've got three queens, wow, and the Empress. That is a beautiful reading. I love it. The Queens and Kings are masters of their suit. So you've got the Queen of Love, so the Master of Love, the Master of Growth, Expansion, creativity, the master of money. We would say the mistress, but in this case, we're going to say master. Um, we also have three major arcana. This is a big deal. It's like your whole life is taking off here. When you have the fool, the empress, temperance, and all three of those queens, it's absolutely outstanding. Um, so you definitely have um, most of the elements represented plus Sagittarius here. You have here um, with temperance, it really is a time of feeling blessed. I mean, look at the size of those wings. It's Archangel Michael. You are being divinely guided. Now, in a relationship, I feel like things are just going to move forward. You also have um, great aspects for fertility, for those of you that are, are interested in that. Um, but with the um, temperance card here, it's all about being easy about things. Wear the world like loose-fitting garment. Being very easygoing, being in flow. If you have... Um, Anything with your family that needed some repair or just feeling disconnected, the, the um, temperance card galvanizes people. It's bringing people together. It's bringing love into your life. It's bringing support in any area. So I feel like, too, if somebody's having surgery, we don't use tarot for medical advice, but I do feel like you're going to have supportive people. If you have some kind of a physical recovery you're dealing with, um, that might be only for a very small segment of you, but I do feel like you've got people who are going to be there to help out and just to kind of do some extra things along the way. But you've got a dawn of a new day in that backdrop. And so the, the path behind him shows us that life doesn't always go in a smooth path. It doesn't always go exactly how we want it to or how we think it should have gone, but it goes how it's supposed to. You're the cause and everything around you is the effect. You're not a product of your environment. The environment is a product of you. And so when we look at this, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, we could hold up the three uh, queens because that's pretty unusual to see too. You've got a new beginning that's going to bring in love, creativity, and it's uh, expansion in all areas. So with the queen of pentacles here, she spins straw to gold. I mean, it really is a card of bringing in more money. It's a card of expanding your life in a lot of different areas though she represents prosperity and abundance so she's really an energy that will get you very well connected to your community so if you're doing something new with the fool like you're moving or you're starting a new job you're going to have great networking here you're going to have a great potential to meet new people to expand your friendships to expand your connections with things um, she's very solid. She's got a, an energy, too, where you're going to be able to multitask easily with this without feeling overwhelmed. And so with the Queen of Pentacles, she can be a bit of a perfectionist, too, especially about her home, home and physical body. So some of you may push yourself a little harder in the gym. You may do some extra things, too, though, with your appearance just to really feel good, to feel like, you know what, I, I wouldn't care who I ran into. I don't care if it's an ex from 10 years ago. I'd be happy to see him. 
or that one person I hated in middle school, bring them on, you know, it's like, you're going to feel good in this energy and feel like it doesn't matter anyway, what other people think, but you're going to feel good and confident in your own right. So the fool, I love the fool is like, you've released all resistance here. It's ready to take flight. It's enthusiasm. It's total trust too. You also in the reading multiple times have trustworthy companions. So you've got trustworthy people. I feel like you're going to be attracting new friends and they want the best for you. They want to see you win. They are, are successful people themselves. I mean, it's so important to pay attention to the five people we are spending the most time with. What are their lives like? Are they expanding and growing? I know I've had to have some um, distance between people along the way in my own life just because they were too negative. They weren't moving forward and they just years and years of evidence showed we weren't a match anymore. So you're going to be bringing in people who are uplifters and they're creative people though. They have, it seems like there's somebody that comes in. They've got a lot of different stuff going. They may be doing some social media stuff and making money off of it, but it might be more like dabbling in it. I do feel like they have sort of their hands in a lot of different areas, um, but they're all just kind of working. I mean, they're just making it work. Now, in terms of a relationship, this is being very um, unconditional. It's great for relationships because there's no judgment here. Talk about a judgment-free zone. The fool has his heart totally open. So in a relationship, anything new especially, this is great energy. It's the beginner's mind. So he's full of adventure and curiosity. He wants to learn about people. So anybody you attract and start a new relationship, they've got an integrity and honesty and an innocence. They're not looking to make a secondary gain or any ulterior motives. It's really somebody who's ready to just be open and be like head over heels in a relationship with you, Libra. Now with that too, with the page here, um, you know, of course, the fool is great for beginning a job or even a, a dramatic career shift. He can also represent that, too, because the fool is about a transition in your life. But when you have the fool in a reading, it's just a reminder that the, your, your soul, the soul is always victorious. So with this, you've got another new beginning. The pages are about developing energies. There are new things coming in. With this one, too, in a relationship, if you've already been with somebody for a while, maybe just sort of that bit of breath of fresh air, you know what I mean? Introducing back or reintroducing in new and innovative and, you know, new experiences. That's what I'm trying to say. Do getting out and doing new things. Now, in terms of money, again, he's a card of, of getting more training, getting more education. So if you are changing jobs, you're going to get some kind of training here, maybe coming up your way. It might involve a little bit of travel. Um, where it's something out of town, but I feel like it uplifts your spirit. It's fun for you and it's exciting. It makes work interesting again. Maybe that's where that was coming from. I think I started to say interesting earlier, but with this page of pentacles, it's valuing all areas of your life. So in a relationship, you if you're already in something though, like I said, it's like you value it again. It's that recommitment to valuing the com the connection, the love, the just having a relationship with somebody stable too. And so with the four of cups here, fours are about measurement and classification. Okay. They're kind of like the four legs of a table. And so with this one, you've got the element of water here, love and emotions. And so for some of you, I feel like it goes back to that you may be editing out people in your life who are, they're too emotionally needy um, and just being more judicious about where you connect your energies. Because I do feel like you have new people coming in and you may find that you just say, I'm kind of grown out of whatever this was. It's just not, it's just not on the same level energetically anymore. And so you may have less time for people that are toxic, okay, I'll just say it, that are really, like I said, they're just not evolving, expanding, and developing. So they may invite you, or you may get, you know, the, the minor arcana can be things like somebody texts you, and you forget to text them back. It can be even something on that level. It doesn't have to be a major falling out with this, but I do get that energy, so I want to acknowledge it. So we love the Queen of Wands, but I do want to point out with the mother of the tarot here, and the Queen of Wands, both of them have their knees apart, okay? So it's fertility time here with these two, but it's also a time of 
sexual chemistry, all right? So anybody you attract with this, you know, that's what the card speaks to, okay? But with the Queen of Wands, she also is confident. She is taking action. It's uh, Wands are upwardly mobile. So any changes with career are to your benefit with this. It's gaining, it's making gains. And so even if it's small and you're saying, I'm not making a big career move here, I'm not gonna you know, completely change everything. There's something happening here though that is an energetic shift. So it may even be a small promotion or just even an acknowledgement that's gonna separate you and give you um, uh, accolades on, in some way, like an acknowledgement that you have more training or more of something here. But with this, you've got great companions and it's really, like I said, a go-getter's energy. With the Queen of Cups, this is an energy of intuition and knowing, but it's love, okay? Cups are about that great life and that master of love. And so with the Queen of Cups, I mentioned with the Fool, you can be completely transparent in a relationship. You can also be completely trusting with the Queen of Cups. This is a confidant coming in. It's somebody you can tell your deepest, darkest secrets to, and they won't even blink. It's somebody who won't judge you. They're going to love you for who you are. They don't want to try to change you, Libra. They are all in with this energy. And so with the Empress, the Empress is expansion. It's luxury. She's the multiplier of forms and ideas. So you're going to be really creative in this energy. Like I said, your social networks are definitely expanding and you're bringing in fun people she is, um, you know, she loves to entertain and have people over and just be in a community and having fun. I mean, that's a huge part of her energy. Very easygoing energy, too. So I feel like overall with these queens, I mean, did I say you had four queens? You have three. I, I, I don't. Yeah, OK. I maybe I did say three. I apologize on that. I must have thought of a different reading. Anyway, back to this. It's definitely an energy of expansion. So um, wonderful, loving energy. She's ruled by Venus, so love comes in there too. All right, Libra, let's see here. You didn't get the Queen of Swords in your own element, but I think I must have had the Queen of Swords in a recent reading, and it just kind of stuck out for a minute, and that must be why I thought about four. Okay. We've got... Meditation brings answers. So quiet the mind and the answers will come. Temperance also speaks to that. You have abundance. That's definitely in the cards. And trust that the universe hears your heart. Perfect timing and you have, choose a new direction. So when you have that, we say, I know what I want. I'm going to feel like I have it already and I'll let the universe work out the details. So great things are on the way for you. I love you, Libra, and I'll be back again soon.